Mhm. My good brethren Kevin dropped off some breadfruit for me the other day and I was thinking about different ways I could prepare it and I didn't want to do the same old breadfruit chips and already have a curry breadfruit recipe on the channel. You could look out for that. So I decided to do a kind of stew peas, breadfruit, one pot something. And I didn't go out and shop to put this dish together, so I just using stuff I had in the kitchen. So I have some dried processed pigeon peas. I have the breadfruit, I had it in the fridge. And as it turns out, if you wrap breadfruit in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge, it will take a longer time to ripen. Also throwing in some old spice, also known as pimento for any Jamaicans who might be tuning in. And instead of taking the approach, I just throw in everything in the pot and allowing it to cook together, which would result in a kind of mushy breadfruit dish like oil dung. I decided to fry the breadfruit separately and then toss it in the stew at the end for some difference in texture in the dish, and cutting the breadfruit into bite-sized chunks. I using the broad side of a kitchen knife to smash the old spice. Then I wrapping it in foil and I continuing to pound it with the knife handle. Or you could use a rolling pin to crush it. You could also use a mortar and pestle or a spice grinder. Add some oil to your pot on high heat and you want to fry the breadfruit until golden brown. You also want to season it with salt and pepper at this point. And once they all cooked, you want to remove them from the pot and let's start on the pigeon pea stew. And don't worry about the bits of breadfruit stuck to the bottom here, all that is flavor. Add your chopped onions, minced garlic, some chopped celery, minced pimento and habanero pepper, some diced carrots, the allspice or pimento, season with salt and black pepper, and you want to saute that on medium to low heat for about 2 minutes. Add the diced tomatoes, bay leaf is bay, must add some bay leaf, some dried thyme, and continue to saute for another 3 minutes. Add the pigeon peas, and some ruku, and then you want to add coconut milk. And someone was arguing in the comment section the other day about calling coconut milk milk. And seriously, it have much more important things to debate in the world besides whether or not we should call coconut milk milk. And personally, I refuse to call it coconut juice because, well, it does look like milk. So, I good with calling it milk. Getting back to the cooking, I'm gonna cover the pot and allow it to simmer for 7 minutes. Now you wanna add the fried breadfruit and toss it gently, you don't want it to mash up too much. But of course you could also eat this separate, so nothing wrong with that at all. I don't know why, but I just felt like combining it and eating it like a one pot dish. So the choice is yours here. Either way is fine. And this went down real good. The breadfruit was beginning to ripe, so it had that kind of sweet flavor. Plus it had that bit of sweetness from the onions and the carrots too. And we also had a balance of savory with the aromatics and the heat from the pepper. And of course the allspice, the bay leaf and the ruku just tying everything together with that Caribbean flavor. It's a little something different to do with breadfruit. So if you have a tree in the yard, or you bought some at the side of the road or in the market, you could give this recipe a try. And if you like this recipe, please give the video a thumbs up and a share. And if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe. The link to the full recipe is in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.